Um, but I kind of, I don't know, I want to empower you guys. According to Google, after going through tough financial times, Jordan Page got out of debt in record time. Now she's a popular blogger, YouTuber, and public speaker and teaches others to do the same. Jordan proves you can live a millionaire lifestyle because of a conservative budget. I think that's an outdated description of Jordan Page and what she does. Nowadays, because of her influencer lifestyle, she receives a lot of things for free. By things, I mean trips, clothing, services, and so much more. In my opinion, Jordan Page is the definition of the phrase, fake it until you make it. Especially those who come over to our home, they just can't believe how frugal we are because the life we live it really looks like a VIP lifestyle. Nowadays, Jordan is anything but frugal, except for when it comes to feeding her children. She's definitely frugal in that area. I have this problem in my life where I'm just extra. And I like things that are extra, and I like being extra and going extra. Today, we're talking about the huge event Jordan and Bubba Page throw every year. This year, they referred to it as Pagerton. Usually, Jordan and Bubba host these parties every year at their home. But this year was different. They went big. They held this event at a wedding venue in Utah County. As I mentioned before, these parties started years ago as a way for Jordan and her husband to meet new friends, and connect with their community. Jordan often says, if you want to be invited to the party, throw the party. Um, I've learned if you want to be invited to the party, you have to throw the party. So I plan a lot of girls trips, I plan a lot of dinners. But this event Jordan throws every year has turned into something more than just an annual party with people from their community. This event has turned into something larger. People travel from all over just to come to Jordan and Bubba's event every year. This party is what it is because of all the free things, the free services, the free products. Jordan's influencer lifestyle affords her. I would be willing to bet she didn't pay to host her party at that venue. She didn't pay for any of the food, decor, the band. I'm sure she didn't pay to get her hair done. That service was probably provided for her. Jordan has always been down for getting things for free. Back before she was an influencer, she used coupons and sales to get items for really cheap or free. But now she's an influencer and entire events are gifted to her. It's easy to look rich and have people think you live this extravagant lifestyle when most things are gifted to you. It's also really easy to save your personal money when you have so many things gifted to you, like vacations and products. In my opinion, she actually made money off this event. Yeah, because she has sponsors. We're gonna talk more about that later. Plus, she didn't pay for help at this party. She asked for volunteers and she got them. In this video, I talk more about the volunteers and the volunteer agreement Jordan had all of the volunteers sign. You definitely gotta go check out that video next to hear more about the volunteers. I think Jordan Page's party was over the top for the time we are in and for the people that follow her. For someone who's free and cheap, this was not. I also think it's awful that she showed on Instagram how she saved the leftover subs. Why not ask the helpers if they want them? Exactly. You're having people work this event for free and you're taking home the leftovers? When you're a millionaire? Jordan sometimes comes across as definitely cheap, but in an icky way. You know, she's an influencer who's afforded this grand lifestyle and she takes home the free food. Now, I'm sure others probably took home free food as well. I don't know, because I don't have any receipts to back that up. But she actually posted about taking home the leftover food because she was trying to be relatable. She was trying to say, hey, look at me, I'm frugal. But she is frugal when it comes to spending money on food for her children. I would say that is definitely an area where she pinches pennies. So I'm not surprised she took home the leftover food for her kids. Next, let's talk about the NDA Jordan required all volunteers to sign. This is the Page Summer Non-Disclosure Agreement for 2022. By its very nature, this event will include disclosures of confidential information by many of the participants. This includes attendees, event details about the Page family, and any details relating to the summer soiree. 
the page company, any and all supporting vendors, sponsors, and so forth. In order to keep the integral privacy of this event, as well as respect the personal protection of the Page family, we require any and all details of this event to remain completely confidential. You will also agree to not use your cell phone to take photos of any persons, guests, or sponsors at the event, or to post about it on social media. Feel free to pause the video so you can read the entire NDA, but pretty much volunteers cannot speak about this event at all, and they definitely can't post about it on social media. The very end of the agreement says, this agreement shall be governed by the laws of the state of Utah. Dress code. Volunteers have to wear athletic wear, something you don't mind getting dirty or sweaty in. So she was working these volunteers. Volunteers also have to have their hair and makeup done. During this event, Jordan revealed how much she makes as an affiliate with Gab. Also, I have to let you guys know, Jordan posted these stories on Instagram and shortly after deleted them. I just want to thank our sponsors, our headline sponsor, Gab Wireless. Gab Wireless is their headline sponsor. After this event, Jordan posted this to Instagram. For those businesses asking how they can be a part of the event next year, we have both free and paid partnerships. We all love Gab. They're amazing. We personally, for our company, have made six figures being an affiliate with Gab that we've been able to put toward other products, growing our business. They're a great affiliate partner. Jordan has made six figures being an affiliate with one company, Gab. That's just one company. Do you know how many companies she represents? A lot. And she's making six figures just from Gab. And have you guys heard the story, the sad and disturbing story she tells every time she tries to sell Gab products to her viewers? You remember when we forgot you at a park for like an hour and a half at night? So scary. So scary. I've told this story before, but this was the turning point for me. This is a key component of social selling. She's doing it exactly how you're supposed to do it. She's telling an emotional story. She's pulling on your heartstrings. She's scaring you. She's making you feel all the things with this story, which in turn makes you buy the product she's recommending. In my opinion, if you have an emotional story, a relatable story to go behind the product you're trying to sell, you will sell a lot more products. Storytelling is a part of selling. Dropped him off, saw his team. He walked way across the field. I left an hour and a half later, I get a call. I keep getting this random number that I ignored. It was a sales call. I answered it and it was some guy that was like, Hey, your son's out here by himself in the dark. Um, do you want to come get him? Come to find out practice was canceled. I didn't see the email in time. He had been sitting on a pitch black dark curb in a sketchy park for an hour and a half. If you listen closely to her story, it doesn't make sense. At the beginning, she says, I dropped him off and saw his team. Dropped him off, saw his team. He walked way across the field. I left. If you saw his team, practice wasn't canceled. So her story doesn't add up. Sometimes I question the story an influencer tells us in order to sell a product. I really hope she wouldn't make this story up just to sell us this product. But what she's saying doesn't add up. Let's get back to the Pagerton party. Jordan continues to thank all the sponsors of this event. Love cotton candy, lovely, dirty, delicious, Kizik, brandless, Beepa built, the Page Company. Haven Light, New Tradition Crafts, Hyven Home, Stadium Sacks, Three, and of course, Mixers. And she thanked Mixers at the end. Now, Jordan talks about Mixers all the time on social media. It's that little pack of mix she puts into her favorite sippy cup. I hope you're going to discuss how Jordan Page won the free vacation from her friend's company, Mixers. Oh, please. I never win anything, but I won this trip from Mixers. Mixers had a drawing. Really? Do we think that wasn't a setup? Do you really think Jordan won this drawing legitimately? Mixers was one of the largest sponsors at her event, 
and she's an affiliate with them, and she just happened to win the free vacation they were giving away. This is exactly what I talked about earlier in this video. Jordan has the lifestyle she has because she's an influencer, and influencers are afforded a lot of things, and free vacations is just one of them. Mixers had a drawing for an all expense paid trip for two to this resort. Mixers and Jordan should give back to the thousands and thousands of people that buy their products. Why was Jordan even allowed to enter this giveaway? She's an affiliate. They have a business relationship. Isn't that a conflict of interest? This just seems a little odd to me. Okay, let's get back to Pagerton. I'm so confused. They made it Bridgerton themed when they constantly say those types of shows are blank and against that in their religion. This comment was left on Jordan's Instagram reel. I haven't watched Bridgerton because I thought it was meant to be really inappropriate. But is that true? Because I can't imagine you doing a party based on something inappropriate. Netflix says 16 plus, any ideas anyone? Would it be okay to watch? Jordan replied, I haven't seen it, but everyone knows the error and it fits perfectly with the castle theme, like the Matrix or the Titanic or whatever. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean you wouldn't know how to dress up or mimic the error. But yes, you can watch it edited. But it's interesting that Jordan throws this huge event and the theme is based on a Netflix TV show that doesn't align with her values and beliefs. She talks badly about Netflix all the time. They didn't just dress up for the night. That's how Jordan is making it sound. No, look at their menus. This event was inspired by Bridgerton, a Netflix show. Jordan doesn't have Netflix, doesn't want Netflix, would never watch Netflix, and speaks badly about them. But she's going to throw a party inspired by one of their most popular shows. Bridgerton themed parties are a huge hit right now. If you want to have a party that gets a lot of attention on social media, basing it around a very popular TV show is a smart thing to do. And I think that's what's happening here. Jordan knew this type of party would get a lot of attention and a lot of views. And it seems like Jordan is just throwing everything she ever said about Netflix out the window because this party is going to benefit her bottom line. It's going to help her grow on social media. It's gonna help her get attention, shares, views, likes, everything. There she is. Totally done. Pumpkin. Turned into a pumpkin. Oh, but how beautiful with the dress or no dress. This all started years ago as a way for Jordan and her husband to meet new people, make new friends, connect with their community, and connect with other influencers and small businesses. But Jordan and her husband have figured out a way to throw this event every year and make a lot of money doing it. They squeeze every money-making opportunity from this event. In my opinion, this is a huge networking event where the pages establish authority in the influencer industry and make a lot of money doing it. So, sorry, that's gross. That it's 5.16 p.m. I'm brushing my teeth for the first time, but I'm brushing my teeth. What do you think about everything? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And did you know Jordan is selling her multi-million dollar vacation home? You've gotta go check out this video next.